In ManyChat, you can use multiple buttons. You can use the normal button, the quick reply, but also the multiple choice user input. Each button has its pros and cons, and in this video, I will tell you which button you should use. So basically, each of the buttons are different in four ways. Whether they are permanent, so if you click on them, whether they still appear in the chat, if the user stays within a certain flow, if you can set up an expiration time for the button, and the maximum number of buttons you can use per message. So let's start with normal buttons. So now I am in my ManyChat flow and I can just create a new text message. We will set the content type to other and we will say this is a message and we will create a normal button with this. So we just call it button, click on done and then we can, if someone clicks on this button, we can set the next message which will also be other and then say this is the next message. So to show you, I would just create a simple keyword trigger so we can trigger the flow. We will name it test, create it, and then we can publish it. So then if I go to messenger and I type in test, then it will say this is a message and with the button. And if I click on this button, the next message will appear. And as you see, it is permanent. So if I go back and one day later, I come back to this chat and I click on this button, the next message will be triggered. This button is still there. This button will always be there. But the drawback of this button is that the user doesn't stay in the flow. So if I type in test, they can click on this button, but if I don't click on this button, nothing happens. So for example, if I type in WhatsApp chatbot, then it can just trigger another flow. And that could be a problem if you want the user to stay within the flow. Here, we'll just click on yes. And also what could be a problem, if I type in test again, I will trigger the flow. This is a message, but there's no expiration time. So for example, if you ask a question to a user and you provide three buttons and after 10 minutes they still haven't replied, you cannot send an automated message. You can do it by using the smart delay function in combination with a condition, but I would not recommend to do this. So basically, is the button permanent? Yes, it is permanent. Does the user stay within the flow? No. The user can switch flows when the button is asked or when the user needs to fill in the button. So they can switch flows. The user doesn't stay within the flow. Can we set an expiration time? Basically, no. You can do this by creating a smart delay and a condition. But again, I wouldn't recommend this. And we can set a maximum of three buttons. This is really important. A lot of people do don't know that but you can only set three buttons. If you want more than three buttons, you cannot use the normal button in ManyChat. Now, let's have a look at quick replies because quick replies are actually quite similar to buttons. There are only three differences. They look different than buttons. They, they appear different and they appear at the bottom instead of within the chat. You can do less with them. For example, with buttons, you can also refer them to a website and trigger a new flow. With, with quick replies, you can only trigger a new flow. And the last thing is that they are not permanent. So if we go back to the message that we put up, then we can add a quick reply and also call it quick reply. And this will go to the same message. So again, we will publish it and we will trigger the same flow again. And this will show the button and the quick reply. And as you can see, the, they appear different, so they have a different style, but also the quick reply appears at the bottom of the window instead of within a certain message. Also, if you click on it, they disappear. So you will not see them again. For example, if the user goes away and comes back three days later, they won't see the quick reply if they already clicked on it with the button it still appears every time after you clicked on it. And also, if we trigger the message again and we want to go to a certain flow, to another flow, for example, WhatsApp chatbot again, that's also possible. 
So basically, is the quick reply permanent? No. Does the user stay within the flow? Also no, they can just switch flows. Can we set an expiration time? Also no. This is by the way also doable by using an action, a condition and a smart delay. But again, I would not recommend this. But the difference with quick replies and buttons, the, the main important difference is that you can set a maximum of 11 quick replies. We can only set three buttons, but we can set 11 quick replies. And then the last one, the multiple choice user input. So if we go back to ManyChat and we will delete this one, we will also delete the quick reply. And then we will use the user input. And user input is a pro feature in ManyChat. And if you don't have pro, I highly recommend to, to buy it. It only costs you $10 a month with 500 subscribers. Uh, it's not much and you have a lot of cool features just like the user input feature. So we can just ask a question. We'll just name it question. We will uh, set the reply type to multiple choice first. And then we will save the response to a, to a custom field. So the reply will be question. I just create a random custom field. And we can set the expiration time. And this is a huge benefit if you compare it to buttons and the quick replies. Because now you can set an expiration time. This means that, for example, if we set this to one minute, then if the user haven't replied in that one minute, we can send an automatic message after one minute with, hey, you need to reply to this message. And you can also set a skip button. That means that people can skip this question. I always delete this because I don't want people to skip the question, but it could be possible, but I always delete it. Then we can just use the quick reply button here. And we will say option one, option two, and option three say done. So now you see that I also need to delete this quick reply from the last time and we will attach this as the next step. So what you can see if, if the contact hasn't responded because we said the user input expires in one minute which means that if the contact has not responded in that one minute we can send an automated message after one minute. So we will just copy this message attach it to this flow and say you haven't responded first name and then also set the next step to the next message so this is basically what happens so we will set a question then you have three options if the user responds it will go to the next message if the user hasn't responded in one minute then it will go to you haven't responded first name and then if they respond to this message then it will also go to that message so let's publish this and see how it appears so i'll type in test again so this will, will be the question option one option two option three and if you click on it you will also see that the buttons disappear also if i trigger it again you will see that the the multiple choice user input looks quite similar to quick replies. Actually, they're they are really the same, but there's a huge difference. If you want to go to another flow, so if I type in WhatsApp chatbot, that's not possible. So I need to select one of the options. So again, if I, if I type it in, it's not possible. You need to type in one of the options. This is a huge advantage that the multiple choice user input has over quick replies and buttons because the user stays within the flow, which could be really important if you want to get the information from the user. So now I will select an option. Now I will trigger it, trigger it again and I will wait for one minute. And after that one minute, ManyChat will automatically send another message with a reminder that I need to reply to this question. And as you can see, after one minute, it will say you haven't responded during question option one, option two, option three. And then if you click on one of them, the next message will be sent. So basically, is the multiple choice user input permanent? No. Does the user stay within the flow? Yes, they do. They cannot go to another flow. Can you set an expiration time? Yes, you can also do that. For example, you can set an expiration time 
of 10 minutes and if the user hasn't replied in that 10 minutes you can set up a reminder and just like with quick replies we can also set 11 multiple choice user input buttons so the last question is when should you use what button and i really have a general rule for this if you want the user to stay in the flow i would say to use the multiple choice user input if you don't want to use the stay in the flow or it is not a problem that they switch from flows i just recommend to use buttons and I actually only use quick replies as a backup for buttons. With buttons, the disadvantage is that you can only use three of them. So what I often do is, I, for example, when I want to show five buttons, I will choose the three most important buttons to show as buttons and the two less important buttons as quick replies. So they are a kind of a backup for buttons. Well, this was my video about buttons in ManyChat. If you have any questions about which buttons to use, please leave a comment below. If you want more videos on how you can use chatbots in your marketing, please subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't done this yet, also click the like button below.